I found this question in one entrance. Question is, which group of amino acids have hydrophobic side chains? Option A, polar amino acids. Option B, charge amino acid. Option C, non-polar amino acids. Option D, aromatic amino acid. To answer this question, we have to understand what is amino acid and their types. Today in this video, we will discuss about amino acids, their types and their connection to psychology and mental health. Amino acids are organic compounds that serve as the building block of proteins. They are crucial for various biological processes in living organism. Amino acids are like building blocks for proteins. They are have a main part called the alpha carbon. Imagine it like center of a wheel. There are various types of amino acid. There are 20 standard amino acids that are commonly found in proteins and these 20 amino acids can be categorized into three groups based on characteristics of their side chains. So first, non-polar amino acid. These have hydrophobic. Hydrophobic means water repellent. So these non-polar amino acid having hydrophobic side chains that include amino acid like glycine, alanine and leucine. Second is polar amino acid and these have hydrophilic. Hydrophilic means water attracting. So polar amino acid having hydrophilic side chains and include amino acid like serine, threonine and asparagine. Third is charged amino acid. These have side chains that can carry an electrical charge and include amino acid like lysine, arginine, aspartic acid and glutamic acid. So correct answer of that particular question is non-polar amino acid. Amino acids play various role in body including protein synthesis, enzyme function and neurotransmitter production. In psychology, amino acids have connection to mental health and behavior due to their roles in neurotransmitter synthesis and function. As we all are aware, neurotransmitters are chemical messengers that play a crucial role in transmitting signals between nerve cells in the brain and in uh, nervous system. Some amino acids are responsible for generation of neurotransmitter and their labels that can influence various psychological processes. Like number one, tractophan. Tractophan is an essential amino acid that help in production of serotonin. That serotonin, serotonin is a kind of neurotransmitter associated with mood regulation, sleep and appetite. Deficiencies in tractophan can potentially affect mood and contribute to conditions like depression. Second is tyrosine. Tyrosine and phenylalanine. Tyrosine and phenylalanine are amino acids help production of dopamine, norepinephrine and epinephrine. These neurotransmitters play important role in mood, motivation and stress response. Alteration in their level can impact conditions such as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in short ADSD, depression and anxiety. Third is glutamate and GABA. Glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter while gamma amino butyric acid, we call them GABA, is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Both amino acids are essential for maintaining the balance of excitation and inhibition in the brain, which is crucial for normal cognitive and emotional functioning. Fourth is methionine and homocysteine. Methionine is an amino acid involved in methylation process, which is essential for DNA and neurotransmitter synthesis. High level of homocysteine, a byproduct of methionine metabolism, have been associated with cognitive decline and increased risk of neurodegenerative disorders like Alzheimer's disease. Fifth, glycine. Glycine is an amino acid with inhibitory effects in central nervous system. It is involved in neurotransmitter and may play a role in mood regulation and sleep. 
It is important to note that while amino acid is just one factor that can influence psychological processes and disorders. Psychological disorders and mental health conditions are multifactorial involving genetics, environmental factors and other biological processes beyond amino acid. Amino acids are found in a wide range of foods including meat, fish, dairy products, nuts and grains. Consuming a balanced diet is important to ensure an adequate intake of amino acid. Dietary intake and supplementation of a specific amino acid have been explored as potential interventions in the field of psychopharmacology and mental health, but their effectiveness varies and it's important to consult with a healthcare professional before making any dietary or supplementation changes for psychological reasons. Keep learning, keep growing. Bye.